Hello everyone, and welcome to Just Brand. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to an old performance that I was in. Recently, I found a video of an old performance that I was in back in 2017. At that time, I was still in school in New York. I haven't seen this video in a while, and I really wanted to watch it, so I said, why not watch it with you guys? I really remember this piece, it was choreographed by my friend, and I just remember how much fun I had dancing in this piece. So, I wanted to share it with you. So, let's get to it. Reaction. Let's go. So, this is from 2017, back when I was still in ballet school in New York City. It was part of a performance called the Student Choreography Performance. So, what that was, was a performance where students had the option to actually choreograph their own piece and have the chance to show it in front of the live audience. So if you chose to choreograph a piece, you had a couple weeks to choose your dancers and start working on it, and you also had to schedule your own rehearsals and work around everyone's schedule to do it. And after those couple weeks, you had to show it to our teachers, and if our teachers liked it, they would give you additional time to work on it and it'd be good enough to be in the performance. So my friend Jonathan, who I went to school in New York with, actually choreographed this piece on five of us, all boys, and it was a really fun piece and it was a really fun time to do it, and it always made me smile. This particular piece that he created is called Fudge the Sugar. It's kind of a play on words on an English phrase. As some people know, ballet dancers do go through a lot of emotional times and stress while they're dancing. So this piece was Jonathan's way of just having fun and putting everything out there to have no stress and just to have the audience smile. And it was really fun and something that I really had fun <laughs> dancing in. So I'm glad to watch it with you. So without further ado, let's watch Fudge the Sugar. Wow. The whole beginning was in Spanish because Jonathan's from Mexico. <laughs> I'm the one in the blue. This piece was like no ballet, it was all just kind of like jazzy, theatrical, just dancing and smiling. <laughs> As you notice too, the costumes are just, he wanted us to wear pajama pants and just a comfortable t-shirt. Very simple, but we did have ballet shoes on. allowed us to play a lot with our facial emotions and everything and it was just it was so much fun doing it. I feel like if I did this now, there's no way you can do it with any other five people. All all of our personalities were so different. We we're all so different people but when we did something like this, it was just so much fun. That was actually the first time I think any boy has lifted me above their head since I was probably a baby. Oh, I remember this too. So at this part, they probably don't catch it so much on the camera. This was this is not like a professional video being taken at all. Sorry, I paused it, but it was actually Jonathan's girlfriend, I believe, that filmed it for us. And so Jonathan's girlfriend actually took this video. And at this part, uh, sticking with the pajama pants theme, we went out there with pillows, and we actually in the middle of the piece had to sleep on some people in the audience or pretend to sleep on them. Some audience members got kind of mad, especially in my first night. But in this performance, no one got mad at us. <laughs> also, there was not there was not so many people there. It was a tiny theater. <laughs> the music so upbeat, everything. Oh, sorry, not the white jackets. <laughs> Actually, these two boys here, dancing right now, 
are dancing at the Cincinnati Ballet, which is a huge ballet company here in the United States. I actually still talk to those two today. They're really good friends. Actually right here, my head's going the wrong way. This was so different from any kind of dancing I was doing at the time. We were so ballet, ballet, ballet. It was just fun to not have to punch your feet. <laughs> As you see right there, one of the boys actually looks like he's so mad. <laughs> And that's it. That was that was Fudge the Sugar. Oh, that that piece really, it's really one that stuck out to me when I was dancing in school. Um, it was so far from any ballet or any kind of dancing I was doing at the time. It was just so much fun, and it always just makes me smile to see it again. And I haven't seen it in a while, so it's glad to see it. The choreographer's name is Jonathan. I met him in New York City, and we were in the same class in school. Uh, he was from Mexico, and we actually lived in the same building for three years. We became like very, very good friends and very close, and actually right now he just graduated in New York from an acting school. He, he's an incredible actor and an, even a better singer, and he could dance too, so nothing but good words to say about Jonathan, such a great person. The, actually, the rehearsals are some of the most fun rehearsals that I ever did in my entire... Everyone's personality was so different, and you just put all five of us together, including the choreographer, and every rehearsal, no stress, a lot of laughs and a lot of work getting done. So hats off to everyone in this performance. It was it was small and not so many people saw it, but I'm glad I found it and I'm glad I get to share it with you guys. So thank you so much everyone for watching. If you want to see more of my old videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. Chandu Toroku, onegaishimasu. And remember, we are Hito.